Uh, welcome to BlueSync. Today we are talking about um, a feature of listings to leads. Now, listings to leads in and of itself is a big old product with a just genuinely really, really powerful, amazing aspects to it. Um, what I wanted to talk about today were the actual social media share images. So what that means is that if an agent or an office shares a listings to lead uh, post to their page, the image that comes through on Facebook when you copy and paste. So um, the reason I want to share this is because you can edit all of these. Um, I'm going to see if I can use this one here. You can edit this social media share image to make sure that it is um, as social media Facebook friendly as possible. And why this is so important is because I, I would argue that the social media share image is the most important part of the page because that's what's going to get people's attention. That's what's going to make them click on the post or not click on the post. So I wanted to show you how you can edit these things both for home evaluation pages like we're looking at right in front of us and for listings themselves. So um, I just want to show you an example of what I'm talking about and this right here when this image loads, this is an example of what I'm talking about. If I were to, and let me actually do this really quickly, if I were to take this link right here and say I've finished making my page, everything's good to go, I want to get to my business page quick to show you what we're talking about. If I were to copy and paste this link onto my business page as I stall and make sure there's no dead air while the page loads. Um, come on, how about we try a second time? I'm not asking you to do too much right now, computer, don't worry. Um, the image that's going to come over here, I click create post, I paste it real quick. This, not black, it'll be the actual thing. This is the social media share image. Now, this doesn't look all that bad. You've got the skyline, you've got the city line, you've got the bridge that's a little bit covered up, that's a little bit um, annoying, but the image is beautiful and it looks good. Now the green, I don't like. I was purely showing the green when I made this a couple months ago for training purposes of how you can edit everything. But this is the ad that people are gonna see on social media. So what's important is that we make sure that these images are as beautiful and as powerful as we can. So I wanna show you how we can edit these and what we can do to edit these. So the first thing I wanna show you is if you do a um, property valuation, what is your home worth page? Now we're not gonna get into uh, a full 101 right now on listings to leads purely because we don't have time. This is supposed to be a 15 minute call. So I'm gonna purely talk about this one aspect, but if you have bigger questions on listings to leads, there's a bunch of stuff on Schmidt Resources. So I'm signed in as an office right now, and all I'm gonna do is click on landing pages first across this left-hand side, landing pages. And it's gonna bring me to all of my landing pages um, for buyer leads, for seller leads, home evaluations, all that stuff. Um, I picked the one that I knew I had worked on for training, and I just clicked this pencil over here on the right-hand side where it says edit, and that brings me to this screen here. So this is where I can obviously edit the page itself, right? I could change this purple background text to make it more blue, which obviously makes way more sense for anything CB. So if I just click preview, see I've already changed that blue there. But I can also on the side over here change in this section, the social media share image. So the reason this is important is especially the very first time you make a, if I were to make a new home evaluation page, um, the image that comes over is not a good image. It's like a computer and a cup of coffee. It has nothing to do with real estate. It's not something I would recommend. So if you're ever making a landing page, you should always go to the social media share image and then click customize social media share image. Big, big button It's the only button in this section. So you click on that and it's going to give you a bunch of options. So first thing that you can do is you can change the size of the image. So this is the image in the back here, as you can see, as I click and drag, I can move it a little bit. And I might, you know, if we look at how, how it looks here on the day, I might try to move it up a little bit so that you can see as much of the bridge as possible. So you can see I'm literally just holding and dragging and I'm just moving it up so we can see the bridge. Now I can also, if I use this bar right here, zoom in on the image or zoom out on the image. 
just using this bar right here in the middle. Um, again, this is all going to be dependent on the photo that you're using because for some of them, it might be too wide and you're like, hey, if I zoom in a little bit, this actually looks a little bit better because now I can really get the bridge out of there and just focus on the skyline here. This doesn't look bad at all. Um, you can zoom in all the way, you can zoom out all the way, whatever you want to do. I'm going to leave it here. You can also, if you look at this over here to the, to the right, you can change where this banner is. By clicking these three lines, you can change where this banner goes. Now, I would say 80% of the time, this is always going to look best, having it right across the bottom, mainly because the other two are kind of jarring. I don't know a reason why you would ever want to put it in the middle. The top could make sense depending on the photo. If you've got a little too much skyline up here and you've got a property sitting right here in the middle, uh, you might want to put it up top. It's all going to depend on the photo that you're using. So I know that, you know, the, the, the short version here is use your best judgment on what's going to look the best on social media. So I'm going to default to down here because I like it more. I'm going to change that background, of course, to a dark uh, blue. But the other thing I can do is I might decide, you know what? I don't really want there to be a blue at all. I'm actually going to make it um, kind of like a, a gray over here. Whoops, make the whole thing go away on accident. Um, I'm going to make this whole thing like a gray over here. And what you can do with the second bar. So if you look, we're using the section that says background right here. Not only can you change the color of this background by moving it around, you know, using this bar here. But if I go maybe to this gray, I say I just kind of, I want it to be more, stop doing that, JD. I want it to be more like, like this. If you look at the bottom, there's a second bar down here that will either make it solid or make it just almost completely transparent. Now this is great because this takes away the attention from this bar. You know, we talked, if, if you've heard me before, we've talked about Facebook having a 20% text rule within their photos. These are already pre-made to cover that rule. These will always run effectively, even if you have two lines of text like I do. However, if you make this a little more see-through like this, and then maybe I decide to make my text a little bold, now, it doesn't look as, you know, it's not as um, kind of loud as having a big green solid bar there. If I do that one more time, I'm going to get really mad at myself. So I'm going to try not to do that. So you can play with this a little bit and actually make the, the box itself a little more see-through. And then you can also change the text color, just like you can the background. You know, you, maybe you want it to be a nice black. Maybe this is a nice luxury listing you're doing an ad for. So you've got black text. And honestly, you might want a bit of a white background there. Oh my goodness gracious. So if I pull away from the screen, guys, that's that's on me, obviously. <laughs> so I can also, I, right now I've got two lines of text. I might decide that I don't want two, I just want one. I just want it to say, what is your West Michigan home worth? Just like that. I change the font from one to two, from two to one. I can change the text. Be careful with these text guys because there are some goofy texts in here that like this. I would never ever use this font on social media. I can barely read it now on my desktop. So stick to the very clear, easy to read fonts. So I'm going to make it bold. What is, I'm actually going to make it medium so it stays there. I'm going to make the background a little more white and a little more see-through. And then I'm going to make the text a nice dark uh Actually, I'll keep the text white like that because I think that looks pretty nice. So now I've got a, a little more, you can see more of the image here as opposed to when you had a big green bar. Now, the last thing you can do is if you go down here to this little checkbox, it says use the original image only without the custom edits. If I check that, that box is just going to disappear completely. And now if I share this to social media, you're only going to see this skyline photo here. Now that's not necessarily a bad idea, but you, what happens then is that the text you put above the ad is that much more important because there's nothing on the image drawing my attention to the post. So this is great. It's got one line of text. It's very clear what I'm asking. This is also great because it's a nice clear image. So this is the gist of it. I'm going to show you one other aspect quick, but I, these are all of the things that you can do to edit the social media image to listings to lead for a listings to leads post. Last but not least, make sure you click save. 
when you click save, especially with the share images, it does take a, a, a little bit longer than anything else on this silly website. So it is going to take a second to, to save. But if you don't save, none of your changes will go through and you'll be frustrated. So make sure you save. Now, this is a little bit less important when we're talking about landing pages like this because the way that I train on it and the way that I've seen our company train on these landing pages is that editing the social media share image is part of what you do. As you make these pages, you, you edit the share image. Where it's more important is with listings. So if I, as an agent, go into my listings tab on listings to leads, if you've been in here before, you know that your listings are here. You can share social media stuff from here. And if I click on a listing, I've got landing pages, websites, all of this stuff that I can use. Uh, for example, this right here is going to be my uh, lead generating page that I could push to social media. And I can push it and if people click on it, it's gonna ask them to register, to view more photos and information, and I can get their information, so on and so forth, hence the name listings to leads. Now these ones are especially important because you see it right here, it says social media image. These are especially important because these will feed images through from your MLS. And it'll pick the first image in the MLS. Now oftentimes that's gonna be an okay image, but oftentimes it's not because agents won't put the best photo first and something could happen where the photos don't look good. So if, an, if you as an agent uh, or you as an office, if you're ever gonna share something from listings to leads to your, your office page, I would always check this social media share image to make sure it's going to look good. If not, I can click change image right here and I'm going to be able to change the image. Now, the first thing it's gonna do is it's gonna offer me all of the photos for this listing. That's gonna be your best bet most of the time because you're, you're still gonna to wanna to share one of those photos. This one is actually not a bad idea at all because what I can advertise then is the views from the porch. So now I might wanna play with it a little bit so you can see that better, but now I've got an image that's a little bit grabbier, it's bright, it's got a lot of colors, and I can do the same things here. I can um, make it one line of text instead of two. I can change the, the, the size of the font a little bit here. Um, I can take that away completely and just have it be the, the photo, change the bar, all this stuff. So something like this, maybe it will make sense here to have that because now I've got the deck, I've got the water, and now having that banner up across the top doesn't look as weird as it could with another photo. So. Again, zoom in, zoom out, and then all I'd want to do is make sure I click save right here. Save this image, and I'm going to actually, just for the sake of that, I'm going to move it around and keep it down there. So I'm going to click save. And now, when I go to share this to social media, I'll have a slightly better image. So if I click on push post right here, I haven't connected it. So if I click on the link to copy and paste, and I will give you the warning that sometimes when you change those edits, it does take two or three minutes to come through. So if you change your social media share image and then you immediately try to go share it on listings to leads, it might take a couple minutes before that effect comes over. Let's see if that's the case here. Paste that in. Nope, it did it automatically for me. So just like that, I've got a little bit better of a, of a um, link to use, a better image to use than I did originally. Now. For better or for worse, sometimes for worse, we are oftentimes at the mercy of the photos that our agents are inputting for their listings. If they take high quality photos, we're gonna have high quality photos to work with. If they take slightly less high quality photos, we're gonna have less high quality photos to work with. As always, it's really gonna be determined by how good those photos are, but whenever we're sharing anything to social media, this image it will always be the most important part of any ad. So we want to make sure that before we share something to social media that we have the best image that we can that we can make. So please write in your questions guys quick if you have any. I'm just going to show you really briefly again where to access both of those sections, but if you have questions, please 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 write them in. So if you're sharing a listing, if you want to share a listing from listings to leads to social media, 
on the left hand side you're going to click on listings you're going to choose the listing that you want to share i'll pick this one here and then I, you're going to pick this top image right here this top thing do a drop down and then you're going to click social media image and then edit and that's going to allow you to edit that image and then if you're doing landing pages you know what's your home worth stuff like that you can go to uh, uh, landing pages it's right underneath listings on the left hand side you're gonna click on landing pages and then you're gonna choose the landing page you want to edit and you're literally gonna click the pencil that says edit if you hover over it it will give you the word and then once you're on that page there's a tab on the right that, or sorry on the left that literally says social media share image you can drop that down you can click on it and you can edit that image so are there any questions guys at all about this stuff I don't I haven't seen any come in um, all right I mean if there's no questions if you have them down the road of course always feel free to reach out but I'm gonna wrap it up guys thank you for your time uh, have a great rest of your week and uh, we will see you on our next call